It's time for a field trip. Let's head to the Museum of Discovery and Science in Fort Lauderdale. Hi, this is Jason from Road Trip with Takis, and I'm going to show you around. As part of the South Florida Adventure Pass, we decided to head to one of the best museums in Fort Lauderdale. We parked right across the street from the museum and headed on in to check out all they have to offer here. The first thing you'll be greeted by is the Great Gravity Clock. This thing's really awesome to look at. You might spend a lot more time here than you thought you would just watching it in motion. We could have spent a really long time here, but there was a lot to see. So we decided we were going to head on in, bypass the IMAX movie, go past the giant T-Rex, actually both of them. This is definitely one of the places you should take advantage of if you purchase the Adventure Pass. It's a very interactive museum and it's fantastic for kids. There's all kinds of stuff to do here. Of course, we headed to the space section first, being a family of astrophotographers and stargazers. We decided to check out the movie that they had there. It's a little motion simulator. The door's closed. I'm not gonna show you what happened in case it's copywritten, but this is what the beginning looks like. It was a pretty cool experience. Then we headed out and decided to look at the area that dealt with anatomy and the body. There are lots of really cool interactive displays that you could play around with. Lots of stuff to look at. They also had a dinosaur in motion exhibit that was there while we visited. And they had all kinds of different animals that allow you to see how they move or how they used to move when the dinosaurs roamed the earth long ago. It's a great place for kids. Lots of hands-on stuff. And you can really get a good feel for how those dinosaurs possibly moved on the earth long ago. It was also kind of creepy and freaky to watch them move too. Pretty neat exhibit. Kids had a lot of fun here playing around. The next section we went to was more of a physical science area. Kids got to load up some of the pipes and watch these little tissues fly through them and fall to the ground. Kids were running around and they kind of didn't want to leave this place. So while they were doing that, Allison and I decided to play around. It was fun to see how different size balloons would interact and then different paper things that you could create. Even Grandma Karen got in on the action. They even had a little mod area where you can make and create things. And we decided to move on to the aeronautical area and take a look at how different items can be launched and also how wind can impact wings as well. This was also a very interactive exhibit, so you can try it out. I have no idea why the kids are standing on the wings, but there they go, they figured it out. There's a whole bunch of simulators in here as well. This area was pretty crowded. Lots of people wanted to play around with the different simulators. And there's also a theater, and they have some old engine parts as well that you can take a look at in addition to a whole bunch of those simulators. We decided to check out the little dome theater that they had and try the little ride in here. It's a little shaky ride, so you have to strap in. I'm not gonna show you this one as well. You're just gonna have to see for yourself because I don't know if this is copywritten or not, so I'm just gonna stop it right here. Kids had a lot of fun with that one as well. We decided to check out more of the body area, see how strong the kids are. Nope. Keep trying. Nope. Time to increase those push-ups. And Allison decided to see how good her balance was. There's Preston trying it out as well. Look how long that time is. Natural born surfer. Wait a minute. What is that? No cheating. All right, moving on. They also have a cardio section. You can see how your body reacts to cardio. And how does your heartbeat work? Go, Gray, go, go, go. Pretty interesting. Kids were having fun with this, just keeping the beat, having a good old time. And one thing I've never been good at is the rings where you try to move them and not touch the side. I always fail at that. It's time for a different level. So we're heading down the elevator. I'm gonna check out another part of this museum. We're gonna look at the animals here and more of your natural science and your ecosystems. This is like a little aquarium area. They have a whole bunch of exhibits here. They have salt water and fresh water. They also have a recycling exhibit so you can understand not to throw your trash wherever. Keep it in the dumpsters and the landfills and out of the freshwater ponds and the lakes and the rivers and the ocean. There is an area for little kids as well. 
our kids just glanced at it real quickly and moved on. It is for the younger ones. And here are the turtles. Gotta love them. Look at them swimming around. Cute. We're gonna walk by some of these aquariums so you can see what's in here. Kind of a neat little structure. I like how it looks kind of like a coral reef or a cave type of area. There's a little bat exhibit. And if you know our channel, we like dark places and caves. But it's time to move on to the weather and climate area. You can push on these rings and get an idea of how clouds form. It's pretty cool. And they also have little tornadoes. We're familiar with that because we live in Texas. And if you live in Florida, you're familiar with this with your thunderstorms. Lots of lightning. And there's your sponsor, Channel 7 and the weather. This Everglades exhibit was closed so we couldn't go in there. They do have a prehistory exhibit with this cool ancient shark that you can climb inside. And they also have other prehistoric land creatures here as well. Always impressed with those gigantic woolly mammoths. Don't forget the saber-toothed cats. A lot of these are interactive where you can actually touch them. So make sure you feel the otter pelt and take a look at the otter exhibit as well. And before you leave, don't forget to pick something up at the store, grab a little souvenir. All right, road trippers, thanks for watching. We hope you watch the rest of this Adventure Pass series. Bye-bye.